Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, meanwhile, is denying a role in pushing the 2020 letter, which uh, aimed to discredit uh, the influence peddling, which was on the Biden laptop, first reported by The New York Post. Here's his exclusive interview with Fox's Benjamin Hall. Can you explain what your role was in that and if you incentivized it? Well, first, one of the great benefits of this job is that I uh, don't do politics and uh, don't, uh, don't engage in it. But with regard to, uh, uh, to that letter, um, I didn't, uh, wasn't my idea, didn't ask for it, didn't solicit it. And uh, I think uh, the testimony uh, that um, the former deputy director of the CIA, Mike Morrell, put forward confirms that. Meanwhile, Hunter Biden appearing in an Arkansas court yesterday for a child support battle with the mother of one of his daughters, who is so far not acknowledged by the Biden family. The judge overseeing the case ordered Hunter Biden to disclose his current finances, including investments and art sales. Joining me right now is California Congressman Darrell Issa. He's a member of the Judiciary and Foreign Affairs Committees, and the Judiciary Committee is, of course, investigating all of this. Congressman, it's good to see you. Well, good to see you, Maria, and thanks, thanks for covering this sort of emerging uh, lies that we're now beginning to unwrap. Yeah, it's just incredible to me that you are seeing this kind of corruption in plain sight. Hunter Biden is still selling his art, and we don't know who's buying it. So right there, we could be seeing Chinese communists buy the art and want favors in return, right? Well, because, because of his extracurricular activities with women and the children he's produced, we might get an idea of where he's basically hidden his money. We know that 1.8 million in fines at the IRS that should have been criminally prosecuted represents tax evasion of more than $4 million. And, you know, the mother of his child confirms that in, when she's saying, I want my fair share for my child. Wow. James Comer has really un, un, unleashed a lot in terms of these bank records and what he's been able to glean. Uh, but it appears that there are a lot of family members who may be involved here because there were a whole host of LLCs that Comer told us about. And from the LLCs, money goes from China into the LLCs, and then it's distributed to the Biden family. Well, exactly. And uh, Chairman Jordan also has worked on a lot of that, where you have at least 12 members of the Biden family who are receiving funds, and those funds, much of it comes from China. Unbelievable. Meanwhile, the Defense Department is now tracking another balloon um, that flew over Hawaii and is headed toward Mexico. It's not clear who this balloon belongs to, but Pentagon officials say they do not believe it's another spy balloon. What's your take? Well, you know, one of the challenges is when somebody is testing you, you have to, you have to pass the test. Well, every time we don't know what to do and we, we hem and haw like we did the first time and now again, we're being tested and we're failing the test. Well, former director of national intelligence, John Ratcliffe, joined me on Sunday on Sunday Morning Futures, and he said that China is not just behaving badly um, uh, on America by these surveillance acts, but they're also interfering in our elections, and he's expecting it to happen in 2024. Watch this. Absolutely. Uh, they, uh, they played in the 2020, uh, 2022 midterms. Christopher Wray said China's an unparalleled threat. They, uh, Chinese officials have been charged for interfering in American political processes. Um, the, the idea that that's not going to continue into 2024 um, is very unlikely. So are you ready for this in Congress? I mean, what are you going to do if, in fact, the CCP tries to interfere in the election? They, they clearly want Joe Biden in charge. <laughs> yeah, as Mike Morrell told us, too, why he uh, uh, signed on to that letter is he wanted to elect Biden, and so he did it. Uh, but this is one of those things that Congress doesn't have an answer because America doesn't have an answer. If you cannot trust your corporations and you cannot trust your government and you know China is going to inject disinformation and lies, who do you trust to sift through that? We know this. We know that Anthony Blinken and his State Department have funded some of that disinformation using boards that they set up. So we certainly can't trust our government. What do you mean funded the disinformation? What they've done is they've set up all kinds of, of funding, including that the State Department oversees funding against disinformation. And then those boards, some of them are now shut down because they've been discovered, begin making decisions about what disinformation or misinformation is. And in testimony before uh, the 
a committee on, on weaponizing of, of government, what we've heard is, oh, well, they're, we're just trying to get rid of lies. But what you see is lies are in the eye of the beholder. You know, and to Anthony Blinken and to Mike Morrell and to apparently this president, lies are what Republicans say and the truth is whatever they want you to hear. Yeah, it's really uh, disturbing, especially after we learned so much about the Twitter files and how government employees were trying to suppress truth and amplify lies uh, uh, right before the election. Your Department of Justice was, was not trustworthy and that included career people there that had political uh, leanings, but the reality is, who do you trust? If you can't trust all the president's men in this administration, and you can't, including Anthony Blinken, who says he's not political, he is fiercely political. He was on the Biden campaign's team. He was part of it. He's been rewarded by being made the secretary of state. Well, I mean, that's what Jonathan Turley wrote in his uh, great piece that I keep referring to, the made men of the Biden administration. I don't understand why he could come out and say, I'm not going to do politics. I'm the secretary of state. What's political about interfering in the election? That, that's not a political thing. You, you know, you, you led a letter to mislead the American people and it affected an election. That's not politics. Well, it's political and perhaps it's criminal, but it is the world we live in right now. And it's so important to get truth out. And it's so hard to do in an environment where it can be suppressed. Do you day want him re to resign? I believe he is tainted for the work he's doing. Our chief diplomat has to be believed around the world and trusted with what the Biden family is getting from China, how do the 23 million, call them refugees in Taiwan, 23 million people there who don't want to be swallowed up by communism, how do they believe that uh, Tony Blinken is trustworthy? Yeah, let me get your take on the border. I know you're coming out with legislation on the border in the upcoming uh, week or couple of weeks. Where are we on that? I mean, you've got Title 42 about to be lifted uh, on May 11th. What do you think happens then? Well, what happens is the numbers on illegal immigration, according to the administration, actually plummet further because less will be illegal when they come over, present themselves and get admitted. If you let everyone in who comes here who has no legal right to be here and you dismiss them into our population, seven million so far, and you define it as not illegal, well, then illegal immigration will continue to go down. But of course, if nothing is illegal, well, then, of course, you don't have violations of crime. We see this in big cities. If you redefine what is criminal and you don't arrest people, you don't have crime statistics. But you still have your house being broken into. You still have your car being smashed. We have that problem in America. Nothing is illegal at the border right now except for a Border Patrol agent to be allowed to do his job. That is being prohibited. So that's where she gets the 90 percent number. Well, you, you, it, might not <laughs> even, it's it, illegal. it might not even be true because they'll lie even with the figures, but I can certainly see where they could twist and t torment them to say it's down. And, uh, you, know, uh, the, you know, paid liar is, is a term you, that I, I used years ago for the people that stand at that podium and spin for the president. But this one is a whopper. How disturbing. Congressman, it's great to see you. We're going to keep watching your leadership. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you, Maria.